Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the impact of stall speed and bank angle. Now this is something you've probably heard a little bit before, especially, you know, those private pilots who eat up that little chart that basically says this is your bank angle, this is what your stall factor is. So here's the thing, if I'm an aircraft that's uh, flying straight and level, just like I got my little handy dandy 172 here, whatever amount of lift I'm generating right now has to equal, of course, if we're straight, if not going up or down, the amount of weight that I have. So if I weigh 2,500 pounds, I'm producing 2,500 pounds of lift. And all that lift is basically going straight up into the sky right now. Now, when I turn the plane, I still need 2,500 pounds of lift in order to make me go up. But now, since I'm at a bank, some of that lift now is the, what they call the horizontal component of lift is now making the plane move towards the left which is why on an airplane, I don't have to continually bank in order to make the plane turn. Once I've got one angle in, some of the lift that's going up is now going off to my left in this particular case. Now, an important concept to understand is that the more I bank the plane, the more I have to apply more progressively greater angle of attack or airspeed, depending on what you prefer in the particular case, in order to keep my aircraft from losing any altitude. In this case, I'm sitting here at 30 degrees, and I've got a pretty hefty amount of bank angle in right now in order to keep this aircraft nice and steady. Now, here's the consequence. Now, originally, I had all my lift going up. Now, a significant proportion of my total lift is now turning to the left. Now, where this gets interesting is as I increase my bank angle. So I'm going to go to a 45 degree bank. Now, what do you notice? You probably pick up the fact that the aircraft is now turning significantly faster than it was a moment ago. The other thing you probably notice, especially when I look down here, is the fact I have to pull my yoke back significantly further in order, actually farther in this case, in order to keep my airplane's nose from dropping. So in this case, I am trading angle of attack for the purposes of keeping myself level. Now, what happens when I bank all the way out here to 60 degrees? Now, you'll notice that it's getting a little difficult for me to go ahead and keep the aircraft perfectly level. The other thing you're probably noticing is that the aircraft is getting progressively slower. You know, I'm trying to hold this and I'm just increasing my drag a lot. It's getting a little bit slower. It's getting, I'm really pulling the yoke back. The yoke is probably uh, almost completely to the stops and my airspeed is so low. Uh-oh, the aircraft immediately started to snap itself into a spin there, which would have been, you know, a little unpleasant, kind of embarrassing at my point. So what happened? Unfortunately, as we increase our bank angle, we have now increased the load factor of the aircraft. And in doing so, we have also increased the stall speed of the aircraft. Not decreased, increased. And interestingly enough, it actually goes at 60 degrees. Your increased stall speed will actually increase by about a factor of 1.4, uh, which you probably notice there, just kind of typically our VS right there is uh, right about, uh, I'll call it 47 knots. But you notice that when we were at 60 degrees there, as we started to lose speed, we were suddenly finding ourselves stalling at about 80 knots. So what I'm gonna do to kind of help us along here is I'm actually gonna push the throttle all the way forward. And we're gonna go ahead and pop ourselves back over to that 60 degree bank. And we're gonna to try to see what happens this time. Let the nose come down a little bit. I don't quite that much. I hate steep turns in the real world. They're actually thinking of eliminating it, by the way. So now I'm doing 80 knots here and um, you can see it's Oh man, this is difficult to pull back. It's actually hard to pull back on my regular joystick. And the aircraft is now completely stalled. And you can see that instead of stalling at the expected 47, it's stalled at about 1.4 times greater speed than it would otherwise. Now, the reason we got all the way down to that speed is because we were pulling back so far, we were creating a tremendous amount of drag. Now, some of you are probably sitting there going, well, technically, if you put the plane over on the wing and you did a knife turn, like a 90 degree bank turn, um, you would have no vertical lift. You're exactly correct. So as a matter of fact, let's go be reckless. 90 degree bank, pull back. Now notice, at 90 degrees, my aircraft is no longer flying. As a matter of fact, if I pull it like this, you can see it looks like I'm in a bit of a spin here, and I'm losing 2,000 feet per minute because my aircraft, unfortunately, does not have any vertical lifts. So when you see fighter planes pull those ridiculous moves, remember, they have a lot of inertia and typically a lot of momentum that enables them to do that. Really, no combination of that is going to allow me to take that 90 degree bank turn and hold my altitude for any reasonable amount of time. So hopefully this is interesting. One of the most biggest takeaways to keep from this, by the way, and I've done this in a previous video, is the fact that when you're turning base to final on an approach, remember that that bank angle that you've just created 
has increased your stall speed. So if your approach speed on a particular aircraft is supposed to be, let's say, 70, and you take that nice left turn, and you bank the plane to 45, and you tug on that, that's when all of a sudden this happens on your base to final turn, and now the plane is in a spin. Oh, pair, 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 pair. Nope, this is exactly what happens. So again, be careful with your load factor, and just remember that when you're in situations where uh, you're going to be going a little bit slow and you start banking that plane, if you want to try to pull back on that to keep yourself at an altitude, watch that speed, otherwise you'll crash. Enjoy.